Hello everybody, my name is Beast Danny Man. Welcome back to you and me and her. A love story with a weird twist. Now, I don't know much, but I've been taking a quite of a liking. I've been taking a big of a liking to, towards this game. Because you might think turns things are going straight in this dating simulation. My dear friend, they are not. But without further ado, let's jump in. Yeah, this is definitely the same game from yesterday. The conversation plays out a little differently in the game, but for the most part, it's exactly the same as what happened on the roof. This level of pinpoint accuracy can't possibly be a coincidence. She must have been intentionally trying to recreate the scene word for word. I in a sense, in a sense that can be, that can be true at sometimes. At sometimes, games tend to be like, okay, well, I can't say Doki Doki Literature Club because this game inspired Doki Doki Literature Club. But I was gonna say that games sometimes take a turn for the worst. Not that I actually support it, or I do support it a lot. I love the horror aspect. Is she really interested in me? Whoa there, buddy. Hold your horses! I muttered to myself. It's way too early to be drawing any sort of conclusion. Nobody knows. Prior to yesterday, Miyoko and I had never even spoken to one another. Willing myself to keep a level head, I resumed the game. I think that's the honest thing to do, actually. Wait. The heck are you doing? What? Nani? Nani Nikso? I'm the mommy cats. Nice try. Cats don't talk. They meow, stupid. <laughs> well, how did you know that? I mean, I am in grade two. And I even know cat can't talk. Boop boop. Aoi frowns down at herself for a moment. Mew. I'm the mommy cat. Yo, Jerry, play that man. Play that meme about everybody passing their heads. <laughs> Who's Jerry? I only know Jeffrey and he isn't stranded deep. That's not what I meant. The scene strikes me as familiar. It definitely seems like the sort of thing the real world Miyoko would say. At least. And knowing her penchant for oddball antics, I can't be sure she wouldn't do something like this IRL. I shoot a furtive. I shoot a furtive glance at the IRL. Miyuki. Bip bip. There's a trademark pose again. She's not taking any notes. In fact, she doesn't seem to care about the lesson at all. Instead, she just sits there, hand in the air like she doesn't even care, staring into empty space, spacing out. What a lovely little girl, my new future wife. I mean, she is kind of cute, actually. Don't get me wrong. Even in autumn, the afternoon sun is as harsh as ever. My vision is engulfed in a white haze. As long as it's, as long as, as it's not purple haze, I guess. Eventually, after blinking a few times, my sight finally registers a lone figure. Oh. Shinshi? Shinichi, standing there, is none other than Sono Miki herself, baseball bats in hand. I don't know what I did. Frankly, I'm scared. If I don't upload by tomorrow, please call the police. Tell her Miyuki did something wrong. No way. You're the one who invited me up here? 
No, genius. Did you forget what my handwriting looks like? i never even seen your handwriting. Oh, right. On top of everything else, she's a master of calligraphy too. Wow, she's a full package. Well, I'm rooting for her now. As such, her handwriting is perfectly distinctive. Extremely di distinctive. Wait. Then, how do you know it was a written invitation? Because I got one too. She, mm, excuse me. She holds up a sheet of paper. I can tell it's the exact same stationery as mine. Then that means... Can't imagine what she hopes to achieve by doing this. Ooh. Ooh, indeed. Let's just wait and find out. Okay, then. Can you please put away the baseball bat, then? We stand there in silence, side by side, gazing out at the town. Such a ghost town, indeed. Let's go out, grab a pint, and paint the town red. The clear autumn sky seems to stretch out, stretch on endlessly. I feel like we need to talk about what happened yesterday. But at the same time, it feels too personal somehow. It never used to be like this. In the past, we had more of a playful relationship. We were friends. Now, we're distant. We're distant strangers. We had no trouble teasing or joking with one another. but. We can't go back to the way we were. There's someone. In the distance, I hear the crack of a baseball bat. That reminds me. Why do you bring the bat? To practice my swing. It's for my next performance. The play is about softball. Interesting. Hmm. Are you sure it's a play? Are you sure it's just practice? Are you even sure it's a baseball baseball bat? It can be a hot dog, it can be I don't know, a sausage roll, a pie. Did I mention I'm kinda hungry? Come to think of it, she was carrying one yesterday too. You're really dedicated, huh? Well, as a second year, I did kind of steal the lead role from the older students, so now I need to learn it. Hmm, I'm impressed. That's my Miyuki. I'm rooting for you. I close my eyes. In the past, we'd often go play at the local indoor batting cage. I remember long hair fluttering with the motion. The motion of a perfect, beautiful swing. Pitch perfect. You're lying, aren't you? About what? Needing to practice, you're already a pro. I think you overestimate me. Doubt it. Miyuki, I know you. We're childhood friends. Listen, if something's bothering you, you can always come and talk. <coughs> and that was the baseball bat. So close from hitting me. You had that bat with you yesterday too, didn't you? I need to censor that part. There's no way she'd bring a baseball bat to a romantic rendezvous. Rendezvous. Just because she has more tact than that. Actually, now that I think about it, I remember hearing that she'd used a bat to defend herself from a particular aggressive admirer. Supposedly, the guy came close to spending the rest of his life in a wheelchair. At the time, I thought it was, it was just another overblown rumor. But where does smoke 
There's fire, or so they say. Hmm. I'm a poet, but I'm also serious about it. Is it for self-defense? I mean, partially, partially, yeah. All right, well, try not to kill kill anyone with that thing. <laughs> Shut up. Mewki pops. I pop back. She swings the baseball bat. I flinch. It comes back around. It hits me with. It hit me in my face. I get a concussion. All I dream about is Miyuki. Miyuki and Ayo. She would never let this let the side of herself show in front of our classmate. But this is the real her. I'm only human. I get scared sometimes. I don't blame her for keeping her guard up around random guys. Yeah, I don't judge her for that, actually. Like, that actually wants to make me root even more for her, more in her part. The rooftop door is the only exit. If it got locked, she'd be trapped. And just like that, her perfect reputation would be destroyed overnight. Looking at her face, I can still see trances of the girl I used to know. S sorry. You haven't changed a bit. I can feel if you're really smart or really, really dense. My bad. It's fine. I gave up on you years ago. It's true though. It pains me to this day, but it's true. It's for the best. We gave up on one another a long, long time ago. Funny. Our mystery letter writer, sir, is taking her sweet time to get up here. Gee, can't imagine why. We exchanged sarcastic quips. I feel a bit more comfortable now that I know the older isn't completely gone. That makes it easier to work up the courage to talk to her. Uh, like, people always stay the same. The people you know, the people that have stood by you for years and years and even years to come, they will never change how they act in front of you. But if it's a fake face or a hypocrite, then it won't know the personality it used by let's say used with me and then my friend and then uncle bobby there standing outside with a smile and saying he's gonna eat my toes for some odd reason i have no idea listen about yesterday yesterday oh right that um that was all an act right to help get me out of that jam of course you look like you were really freaked out. Thank you, Miki. Yeah, it totally threw me for a loop. I mean, I barely even know her. Thank, thank you for showing up when you did, seriously. No need to thank me, I hardly did a thing. She stares at the ground, letting her guard down in a way that would be unthinkable in front of anyone else. It's good to let you go down once or twice, even three times in a row. I pause for a moment. Then, once she's calm, I ask, her, I ask her again. That love confession, it was all just an act. Right? Right. It wasn't real. Just forget it. Alright, I will. Okay, now things are actually starting to become a bit juicier. There's an unspoken agreement between us. The two of us are all friends and nothing more. I have to maintain my distance from her. That much is crucial. Anyway, that Miyuki song sure is something else. I notice he's steering the conversation back into safe territory. 
I guess the rumors are true. She's nuttier than a fruitcake. And with a bad case of gamer brain. The heck is gamer brain? It's when you start to confuse video games with reality. I hate that. Okay, suddenly... I'm not gonna be a douche, but I don't like you anymore. Her tone sharpens suddenly. Is that why she always behaves the way she does? She doesn't seem to care about anything, or at least she never seems to pay much attention. Isn't she just a space cadet then? Honestly, it infuriates me. Miyuki is the type to always put 100% into everything she does, so it makes sense that she wouldn't go get along well with anyone absent-minded as Muko. Come on, don't be so hard on her. Having a poor grip on reality can't exactly be easy for her either, you know? Now me? That's not true. Who's there? Miyoko? Just like yesterday, she's standing up on the roof of the stairs. Have you been here the whole time? Aoi can't tell the difference between reality and fiction. This world is a game. Aoi is a romance option. Not this nonsense again, for freak's sake! Aoi! Stop drinking! It's bad for your health! It's bad, mate! No! Stop drinking! Stop drinking! Put the pint down! Let's see your proof, then. Proof? I don't need no stinking proof! I'm sitting with a pint! Sitting with a pint! I'm enjoying my pint! I'm pinting the town red! Miyuki tilts her head, puzzled. Hmm. Boop, boop. Then she puts her hand under her skirt and starts to pull. Um, uh, YouTube, please don't hate me for this. Stop right here. What on earth do you think you're doing? Ahoy, we'll get naked at the International Walk of Mar Ah, ew. <laughs> the in international woods mob will appear. Yeah, uh, I sincerely doubt that. Don't you dare. Have you no shame, woman? Shame! Shame on you! What's shameful about it? Okay, that's actually something I can agree on. Like you don't have to be afraid of how your body looks, your outer appearance. Like, don't be ashamed of that. But also, don't go and undress at every single school. Especially if you're 20. And older. Please don't. You seriously don't know. Surely she's got to have at least some common sense, right? Whatever. Just keep your... For GD's sake. Miyuki falls silent, as if lost in thought. Okay. Different proof thing. She takes her cell phone out of her pocket. G. Huh? G. Yes, the G of visual novels. This world is a video game, a program, a simulation. We're all just stuck in a simulation. And programs can be patched. What's that supposed to mean? Well, my gaming friend, do you want a terminology or do you want an example? Go on Wikipedia. The world will change. Oh yeah. Such as a mir miracle thing. Would you? 
Got it? Miyuki nods absently and raises her phone in the air. I have a feeling I know who she's calling. Bip, 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 okay. Thousand bip, bips. <sighs> Miyuki san, what are you doing? Are you mad? I think she's calling G. Since when does G have a phone number? Since never, as far as I know. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, once again. As usual, G shows no sign of picking up. Nevertheless, Miyuki keeps calling. Okay, you know what, Miyuki? Let's go grab a drink. I'll stick you. What do you want? Burger King? A boyfriend? Pizza Hut? I don't know. Just join me, okay? At this point, it hurts to watch. Are you done yet? Not until he answers, probably. Knowing Miyoko, it seems like the obvious conclusion that would explain why she suddenly collapsed yesterday. I heard she has a com complicated family situation. She does. Supposedly, she never goes home, sleeps in a different bed every night. Whose beds though? I I'm, I'm not sure. In the back of my mind, I remember what Yutaro told me earlier. The rumors of her sleeping around. Bip, 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 bip. Okay. She's still searching for a signal. Hey, Miyoko. Bip, bip. Maybe your phone doesn't get service up there. Or, I don't know, maybe Jeez is a little busy right now. Bip, bip. You think so? Maybe our boy doesn't have enough battery power. Just get down from there, would you? You wanted to talk to us, right? Three, two, one. Hey, do not jump from there. Don't jump! First let me get my camera. Okay, now jump. Why not? Oh my. Huh? Because it's not safe, genius. How has you survived this long not knowing these things? Just use the ladder, the ladder, please. Got it. She proceeds to climb down a little recklessly, little more recklessly than I would have ever liked. Have liked. My two beautiful waifus. Finally, the three of us are standing on even ground. Not one above the other. Because that's something nobody likes. So, why did you ask to meet us, meet us up here? What? Wait. Then that means you wrote those letters, didn't you? Uh-huh. Well then, first things first. Let me make this clear, as you may or may not have already heard. Everything that happened yesterday was a total misunderstanding. Shinichi and I are all friends, that's all. Yeah, way to spoil the mood, Miyuki. Nothing more, nothing less. There's nothing romantic between us. Yeah, it's for the best. Got it. What is it? Plan A. Friendship mission. What? Aoi and Miyuki and Shinichi. We'll all be friends, okay? 
They're like, yeah, we can be friends. Like, rather have friends than no friends. Sure, that sounds nice. Really? Maybe if she had a couple of decent friends to hang out with, she wouldn't act out like this. That's one way to look at it. You'll have to count me out, though. They say men and women can't be friends. But maybe you and Miyuki could. I refuse. I feel that you and I are fundamentally incompatible. Looks like that's a hard no. Still, she's right. I can't imagine the two of them getting along very well. Got it. Plan B. Miyuki holds her cell phone in the air. What the... What exactly did you just do? Photo mission. I'll send this to the whole class. Are you blackmailing us? Bip bip. Is that bad? The look on her face is perfectly innocent. Come on, Miyuki. Explain to her. Knock yourself out, Miyuki saw. Are you serious? I mean, it's true Sanishi and I were up here together. Maybe it'll give some people the wrong idea, but I can clear it up for them. No problem. If anything, being friends with someone like you would be way more embarrassing. You know what? Let me say two things. One, you're free to try all you like, but unless you make some serious changes, you'll never stand a chance at making any friends. Two, don't call me Miyuki. That's fine. Wait, was she talking to me or Miyoko? With that, Miyuki strides off to the door and down the stairs. Meanwhile, I feel myself unclench. I know she wasn't shouting at me, but still. She's so cool. You, uh... Really march to the beat of your own drum, huh? Bip bip. Miyuki tilts or Miyoko tilts her head. She looks confused. A regular occurrence for her. Occurrence for her. Occurrence for her. Bye bye. Where are you going this time? The classroom. Is she seriously intent on showing everyone that photo? Miyuki is gonna get mad, you know? Why? She gave permission. He had innocence, but I didn't give my consent. Huh? She seriously has no clue, does she? Why are you trying to get me and Miyuki together in the first place? The protagonist needs to end up with the main heroine. Wouldn't make sense otherwise. In the sense, that's actually correct. So our will request an update, update patch. There you go with your dating simulation nonsense again. I'm gonna go now. Hold it. Bip bip. Miyuki's expression changes slightly, almost imperceptibly. Meanwhile, I'm a little shocked that I yelled off the road just now. Obviously, I don't know what to show that photo to anyone. I don't want her to show that photo to anyone. N not when I'm finally starting to enjoy my life as the class wallflower. If rumors start to spread that a pathetic nobody like me tried to confess my love to Queen Bee Miyuki, the mere thought has me on edge already. That must be why I yelled off to Miyoko. To stop that from happening. Right. Look, didn't you just ask her to be your friend? Isn't that what you want? Friend? She told her head again, as if to consider the merits of the world. Ahoy doesn't really understand. Friends. I think back to her address book with its single entry. Alright, 
Philly Watts. I'll take my phone out of my pocket. Let's trade email addresses. It's the first step to making friends. Cool. Trade email addresses. You ready? How, how do you do it? Oh, right. Obviously, she's never done this before. First, you open this menu. Okay, now to send me an email. What the? I tried to send myself an email using a phone, but it won't send. You probably need data or Wi-Fi. Do you not have servers up here? That's so weird. My phone's getting full bars. Does this mean we can't trade? For some reason, I sense sadness in her blank expression. Thinking quickly, I shoot her a reassuring smile. Don't worry. We can just do it manually. Here. I enter her phone number and email address into my contact list. Then I show it to her, just in case. Is this correct? Uh-huh. A moment of silence passes as she stares back and forth between our phones. What's wrong? Got it. She raises her hand. Does this make us friends? Yeah, I'd say so. Once you're in each other's phones, you're pretty much friends. Well, then I have no friends. Shinichi and Ao are friends. Yep, you and I are officially friends now. Yay, best friends. Friends. Muko, Mukoyo, Mukoyo, Mukoyo stays puzzled at the new addition to her address book. A long moment passes. It starts to feel like time has stopped around us. We should probably head back to class. Uh, Earth to Muko? You listening? Got it. Once again, a hand shoots straight up into the air. Okay, but I think I'm gonna end this episode here. This is getting a bit too freaky. So, yeah, just gonna save it there. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see all you beautiful weaves in the next video. Bye-bye.